You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Always the past. Oh, we've made it. Welcome to August. What a month July was. Um, If you live here in the States, you know that we all as Americans lived, uh, as Americans, we lived nine lives over the course of July. What a wild month to be an American. And I also feel like um, I'm really going to actually use a lot of the themes that are happening in our political landscape. This is not about politics, okay? That's somebody else's podcast. I don't have that kind of time. That's exhausting. Um, but what we're seeing displayed for us, right? Everything is a mirror. So everything doesn't matter, your political views, anything that you agree with, anything that you don't agree with, that it's their problem or this, or if we fix this or all of those things, right? We're just, it's all mirrors. It's just reflecting back to us how we walk through the world. It's also a bigger representation. The things that I've found um, really compelling is like how fast something can shift, right? All the time, especially if you're a spiritual teacher, everyone's like, oh, paradigm shifts, paradigm shifts, quantum leaps, portals. Like everybody's just trying to escape the reality. I mean, let's be honest. Everybody's like, it's the grand portal and we're all gonna like, relax. Okay. You guys know one of my favorite spiritual teachers, Remington Donovan, shout out to my buddy Remy. Uh, and he always says, love the life you have and you will have a life you love. You're right. Um, but I, which was a lot of my message for July, right? If you somehow didn't catch the July um, newsletter, definitely go back and watch it. It's also a podcast episode. I definitely recommend it. A lot of those themes are still present, which was like, let's just sit and like enjoy what it is that we've built, what we've made, and then we're going to allow those shifts and changes to happen as they need to, right? Again, let's go back to what's happening here in the States on, you know, kind of this political level of what we're seeing. There's been very vast shifts across the board, right? Negative and positive, light and dark. Um, But how quickly, like I said, those, like we've been chipping away at something, There's been a lot of hate and a lot of evil that's been chipping away. And there's a lot of like, we're going to get it. It's okay. Like, we're all going to make it. Like, peace is real and we can have it and we can keep working towards these progressive ideals and we can progress and live unified in a way, you know, with also there's, you know, however many people, 20 million people, 11 million people that live in the United States. We're only going to be so unified. Okay. Let's relax here. New earth. But I do think that, you know, that has also been chipping away and chipping away and we're starting to see that emerge and shift and change. So I think that what a beautiful opportunity. I feel like August offers us this opportunity to be like, we've been chipping away, we've been chipping away and you're starting to see what it is that you've actually been making. What is it that you've actually been working towards. Because a lot of times, um, let's go smaller, individual goal. Uh, I have been working towards getting over my ex. And with that means uh, changing, I'm going to close my eyes for a second. With that means uh, changing the way I treat myself so that I have different standards of how I want to be treated. That's just one aspect of it. Um, Making sure, maybe it makes me uncomfortable for uh, men that call me back or men that are available, people that are available, right? We don't, it doesn't just have to be uh, a man, but whatever that is um, of pursuing that, that's one aspect of it. And then you may even start to date those types of folks and maybe like, okay, I'm seeing this change and shift. And then again, it's like this, I feel like August is the representation of like, okay, but then what happens when like, now you're in that new relationship, 
right? That's the paradigm shift, this chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. Although it's like, whoa, now we feel like we're in a whole new landscape, right? Even looking again politically, like, whoa, we are in a whole new landscape. What does this look like? That's a mirror for us, even in your own life. What are the things that maybe you saw the plan of what you thought it was going to be, or you've been working towards this thing? And August is really the month that it's like chip, 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 crack. And could be negative, could be negative. We'll see, especially on a, a on a grand scale. We'll see what happens. Prayers and thoughts be with you. Um, she laughs so she doesn't cry. You know what I mean? Um, but I think that there's something that we need to take note of. That, I mean, again, the world is always reflecting back to us how we view it, how we want to work in it, what we, how we even want our purpose to be in it um, in ways that are collective. And so I think let's, that was just the most um, like grand thing. I feel like when I sat down in meditation this morning of like, okay, how are like, how are these energies coming through? And I kept seeing what's happening in the States politically. And I'm like, I don't want to talk about that. And they're like, no, this is. This is the prime example of what's happening in our lives that we've been chipping away and chipping away. And this is the month that it cracks open. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that this may be takeoff, but it certainly means, and we've been seeing of like, you are so ready, finally, finally. I can feel that from each of you of, um, go close my eyes again. Even like, Give me just a second. Even all of the things subconsciously that you have not been aware that you have really been working through. And a lot of times that's the beautiful thing about doing spiritual self-growth worth. Uh, Well, it is making sure you're, you're upping your worth, but doing this work is that it fucking works. I mean, that's where all the time people are like, what are you like? Oh, you like believe in spirits and you have crystals and whatever. And I'm like, dude, call it whatever you want. It works. Okay. Um, my life is literally a living testament to that. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like, I was living in a bedroom with my, you know, mattress on the floor. I had two cents to rub together. I had just gotten sober. I had no idea what I was going to do. And six and a half years later, I am happily married. I've got two beautiful boys whose behavior recently has been so abundant. It's hard to keep up with. Um, and we've got these two businesses, right? So it's like, it, it works. And I feel like this is the perfect month and energy where you're going to see that in your own life. And I think it's a really exciting place to be. So I want to talk about the excitement and then I, and then I want to circle back to kind of our um, let's be conscious of, right? Because this month is going to move. Like I feel like we got right. The beginning of the year started out really slow as it typically does, especially here in the States it's winter. So even nature is reflecting back to you, this kind of like still cocoon. And then March, we were finally like, all right, it's time to start really letting go of these things and we're ready to go. And then April promised us a little bit more. And by May, our shoulders were back and we're like, this is really working. We know where we're going. And then June was kind of like, okay, now we're completely unfurled and here we go. And we're like, we've integrated it. And then June or July was really the month for us to like get comfortable holding this stance. This is how we stand now. We are ready. We are energetically ready. We are aligned for whatever that thing is. Even if your thing is like, uh, girl, I'm still covered in debt. Okay. I am not singing the tune that you are singing. Right. But you were unfurled. You are now in this place where you're like, debt be gone. Right. You're ready to figure that out. Whether that's hiring, um, a debt, uh, like, um, console later. Why can I not think of the word? Um, where you consolidate, there you go. You consolidate your debt, right? Somebody to help you do that, or you've started your payment plans, or you've asked for that raise that's long overdue so you can siphon off more of like your monthly income to paying that off, like whatever that is, right? We are now in this stance and we're like, let's fucking go, right? And so August in a lot of ways is really the month that we've been waiting for. Now, 
because I, I know a lot of people come here a lot. Of, it's the same thing. People show up to me in readings and they're wanting me to tell them this is the month you're going to meet the love of your life. This is the month that your podcast is going to take off. This is the month that you're going to, you know, win a million dollars. This is the month that your mom is finally going to apologize for not being able to properly see you and nurture you. It's probably not right. In August, same thing. It's probably not. I hope for you. I hope for you. I'm here for you, but it's probably not right? Everything is a process. So again, it's chipping away. It's chipping away. It's chipping away. But now it almost feels like the, um, the Russian dolls that it feels like now we've almost gotten to the root. We've gotten to that, that piece of it of knowing like, ah, this is the part that I've been going after. This is the part that I'm ready to integrate. This is the part that's going to kind of take us into where it is that we're going next. And so the energy of this month is lots of different ways you can look at it, right? Some people are going to be like, it's radical. There's a lot going on. We're having all of these um, transits. If you're my, for my astro girlies out there, right? There's a lot going on that way. And then there may be some people, um, you know, that are like, uh, well, let's go back to uh, politics, right? Like for, um, for my activists, for my disruptors, it's gonna be like, this is the time, like pedal to the metal. Like we've got to make every moment count. And like, there was a card that I pulled earlier this morning when I was sitting, um, in meditation of what it was that was really wanting to come through. And I pulled the drift card and it was like, go with the flow. And so it's not even about how fast or slow this month is going to go for you. It's, this is the month. This is again, that let's be conscious of you're wanting to go with that flow. So if the flow, like for personally in my own life, it's, we now know what that route is and like, I'm fucking rocked and ready. But where I know I've gotten myself in hot water in the past or where things have not circled all the way through is I, I try to do too much at once, right? That's the ADD brain. That's the visionary brain. That's the manifest generator of like, well, we well, can see it. So we'll just fucking make it now in five minutes, right? We can do a hundred tasks in eight hours, right? That's doable. It's not. Um, and so however that correlates to you in your own life, whether you are like me in that way, or you're the procrastinator or like wherever that is for you, it's like going with the flow, already knowing that everything that has been percolating this stance, everything that we've been working for, chipping away at that thing, now is time. It is time now to be able to like follow those things through. So again, that idea of, I don't want to call them warnings or whatever. It's like, let's just be something to be conscious of is you can't make the river run a different way you doing it faster or rushing to get there because you've had the vision, you've had the download. Now, you know, you had a mini big break, you know, they said, yes, you finally, you know, had sex with them or you got the check, whatever it is. Right. Um, this is an opportunity for us to fully eat our meal. I feel like so often we ask for abundance, we want all these things, and then it's like we get all of it, and then we're, we're already like looking past that meal, and we're looking for something else, and we didn't even digest what it was that we were being offered. We didn't even digest what it is that's happening right now. And so all of us are being called, again, you know me, I joke about all my new earthers, and a, and, and even a lot of these spiritual um practices, ideals, everything that are, are even very real to me. Um, but I also think it's hilarious how serious we all take ourselves as if we like actually really know. Um, so let's have a little fun. And, but I think that's one of the things of like, we are all being called to slow down. It is going so fast. That's how we've gotten to this place of insanity in many ways on a global scale, on the, you know, American front, on our own lives of being on our phones and EMF blockers. And then there's 17 different types of, you know, you're on like chef talk and then you're on spirituality talk and then you're watching people, you know, satisfying videos of cleaning up rugs, like whatever it is, it's like, just constant stimulation, constant. You're not moving fast enough. You're not doing enough. You're not. And we are every single month being offered more and more in abundance, 
not for the purpose of going faster. We're being offered it for the ability to look and see what really matters to us and what is really at stake, what is really happening. Like, again, I would go back to what's happening on a political scale, right? Like we can look at where it's like, obviously there's very opposing views in a lot of ways and there's all these different, right? Like, let's just leave that up here. Who has time? But with that of like really looking at, especially with all the shifts that have happened recently, oh, we have time because we've gotten so conditioned to be like, well, it's all chaotic, so it's all going to burn. Or we're super apathetic or we're um, we're overusing our energy towards those things. And I feel like this shift has allowed us to really stop, should you choose, and go, let's really rewind. Let's look at what's at stake here. Let's look at the repercussions of not just picking a side or not just picking a spouse or just picking a new home or picking a thing because we need it to soothe whatever the thing is. Let's slow down and look what is around, what is the abundance that's being offered to us and what direction do we want to go? Again, should you choose and you're not paying attention, August is going to have their way with you, okay? That is your not so subtle warning. Okay. It is going to take off at lightning speed should you allow it to do that. Or we can come into some of that spiritual discipline. We can come into ourselves 10 toes down, feeling, you know, really getting grounded and anchored in the, this month and reiterating this presence again and looking at what is that root that we've been, you know, chipping away at getting to that. And then going, how do I want this to best service what it is that we're planting? Because you're really being offered the chance to replant the seed. But now you know what it is that you're really planting. And I feel like, again, that's the chipping away, chipping away. We thought we knew. Okay. And that's a part of the process, right? I had this conversation with my husband last night and he was like, I feel like we keep trying these things and they're not working. I said, sure, that's one way of looking at it. We can also look at like, we have learned all the things that don't work. And that actually is going to get us closer to what that, again, what is that seed and planning that? And then we really go. All right. So August is here to support you. August is here to surprise you. August is here to like really, it's just really here to support you. Should you allow it to do that? It wants to show you that what it is, I always say, if it comes to you, it wants to come through you. So those things that have come to you, those things that want to come through you, those ideas, those practices, even if it's within your family, you're like shifting where it's like, you know what, after eight o'clock, it's all candlelight, right? And that's how we're going to eat dinner. That's how we're going to, you know, read a book before bed. Like we're slowing it all down. Like whatever those things are for you, this is the month to really cement those in so that you can identify all of that abundance that's coming your way and you can really like <laughs> energetically let the rest of it kind of dust off because what we're cementing right now is what takes us through the rest of the year, right? Every month, um, as I define it, offers us different energies to work with. Obviously, that's reflected to us in nature, in the world. Again, like in, in this uh, instance, like, um, you know, uh, American politics, like all of the world is just a mirror reflecting back to us. Which way do you want to go? What energy do you want to tap into? What is, what is the truth that you are ready to go? This is it. And I'm holding on and away we go. Right? So again, that drift, that go with the flow. Um. So I wish you nothing but like, have a good fucking time, dare I say. I think that it's a lot of fun. We've got, you know, again, this is going to kind of like quickly take us into September. And you know that September is kind of that back to school energy. Even if you don't have kids, whatever your job is, like we're all kind of like cementing back into that of like, okay, it's fall. Here we go. And then it's like October is going to come. And then we're going to be off to the holidays. And there's going to be all of the, you know, familial politics and everything else that comes up for us of what the holidays mean. And it's going to be winter. And a lot of that is going to be cementing itself in. It's going to want to rest until next year when we're going into spring. So that's why I really, really encourage you not to say that we can't do big work. Um, during winter months. I, I certainly think that we can. They offer us different movements and adjustments. But I think, again, what we've chipped away at, that root, that new 
seed that wants to be planted. And it's like, now, you know, maybe you've done this garden for a while, right? Any gardener will tell you, it's like, oh, I was trying this, I was trying this. Then I finally got that, you know, that recipe, right? Right. Um, and that's really what we've done. And so now, you know, so you don't need to rush it. We've got it, plant it, water it, and then know that like, this is the energy that is carrying us through until the end of the year. Right. Um, so I'm excited for you. Uh, DM me, let me know, shoot me an email. Let me know, is this resonating for you? How are you feeling? What are you moving through? Reminder, I'm a real person and I would love to connect with you. That's why I do this. Okay. Uh, please peep down on the rest of the newsletter. Lots of fun stuff going on. Uh, the Rachel Four show now has its own socials. So you can follow me on TikTok. You can follow me on Instagram. So that will be for everything that is like, energy readings, card readings, like everything that's really these deep dives about manifestation, cord cutting, like, you know, the connecting body, mind, and soul, all the things that we talk about on the podcast, we're really going to get a deep dive. So if that's really where you're feeling called, come and hang out with me, baby. On uh, my personal page on the Rachel LaFour show, Again, my own seed, uh, I am starting a very new journey that I have dubbed Fit and Famous by 40. I'm 38, just for the record. And uh, that's a new journey that we're starting on 8-8. And there's a lot that's going to be going on there. I'm calling in my pack of all of my people that are also ready to reclaim who it is that they've always been. And we're going to be doing this step by step. So lots of stuff that's going to come from these different spaces. So I'm going to be bringing you more and more, but we're going to simplify more and more. I'm going to take my own advice. Anything else you need? I'm around. All right. Have a beautiful, beautiful month. I love you so much. And uh, tune out, tune in. Love you, mean it. Time, weather, and... <laughs>